my name is Kate Hedberg. I'm an Applications Engineer here at GoEngineer. I'm going to introduce how to create simple ladder diagrams in SOLIDWORKS Electrical. I'm already in the SOLIDWORKS Electrical application and I'm going to open up my O2 Power Document. Here we have a motor control circuit. There's a motor, terminal strips, protection, and a power supply. I'm going to start by adding a three-pole contactor. This time I'm using my symbols palette on the right hand side of my screen. This allows me to search for keywords of specific components. I'm going to type in three pole and it brings up all of my three pole symbols. I'll just drag this normally open contactor and drop it on top of my wires. The symbol properties dialog pops up. This allows me to specify component marks, operating data, description, and whatnot. I'm going to go to the manufacturer parts and circuits tab at the top of this dialog to specify what real life part I want the contactor to be. When I click search, it brings me into my manufacturer part library. And I can search for the specific component I want. I always remove my pre-existing filters with this button at the top because who knows what I searched for previously. For this example, I actually have a specific part number for a contactor relay, so I'll just type that in. Double click to add this component and select to apply that manufacturer part to the component. Notice that the green boxes indicate that only three of the circuits are being used. The blue boxes are indicating that I have two spare circuits. You can see that my symbol now has the manufacturer information represented on the page. Now I'm opening my control page. It is blank, so I'm going to start by just drawing some control wires. I'm only going to draw four of them to start. I click the draw single wire button and then select the wire style that I want to use. I'm drawing a rectangle to get my four wires quickly on the page. I'll move them around in a second to make them more ladder-like. I'll just click and drag this top wire down a little bit. Note how the connection points show up when I drop the wire. The next step is to actually start adding some symbols. I'm going back to my symbol palette. This time though, I'm opening up the command category. I figure with this circuit, it would probably be nice to be able to start my motor, so I'll drag and drop a push button onto my sheet. If you can start a motor, it's a good idea to be able to stop the motor, so I'll drop this emergency push button as well. Now that I have these two buttons, it would be cool to link this ladder diagram back to my contactor placed on the previous sheet. I remember that I had two spare circuits in that K1 contactor, a relay coil circuit and a normally open contact. I want to use that relay coil circuit now. To do this, go to the component tab on the left hand side of the screen. This lists all of the components in the project organized by locations. Here's my K1 component. I'm going to right click on it and select insert symbol. A dialog pops up asking me if I want to use the circuits already in the manufacturer part. I'll agree to that. Here you can see all of your circuits and which ones are available or not. I'll select the relay coil circuit. You'll see a preview of what the symbol will look like. Then hit select to place it on the page. I'll place that on my rung as well. I'll just left click and drag it a little bit to reposition it. This looks great, but my momentary push button is only going to have the motor running while it's being pressed. That could be improved. I have that normally open contact circuit available in my K1 component. I'll just use that here. Again, just right clicking on K1 and inserting the corresponding circuit symbol. I'll position that right below my push button. I think it'll be nice to place a happy little indicator light to tell me when my motor is on. I'll drag that from my symbols palette and I'll link him with my push button component S1. Now I'll just drag the bottom wire up and those components will trim the wire. I'll copy this segment of wire and paste a few of them to add the vertical wires. I'll just delete out the sections of wire I don't need. The right section of my ladder should be connected to ground. No problem, I'll just right click on a segment of wire and replace the wire style. There are several options for how to replace it, but I want to choose the option to replace all the wires that are equipotential. I hit the green check and then select the ground style I want to use. Now I want to connect these wires to the ones on my power sheet. I'll do this using my origin destination arrows. These let me connect wires of the same style together across different pages.
Once you've established these connections, you can double click on the arrows to go to the corresponding wire. Now, I can number my wires automatically by going to the Process tab and clicking Number New Wires. And that's really it. Note here on my control sheet, you can see these cross references that are referencing my K1 component. These look good. If you have any spare circuits, they would be represented in blue. And if you used more circuits than your part has, they would be represented in red. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please reach out to us here at Go Engineer. Mm -hmm.